Hey everybody, welcome to another lesson. I will do type of triangle from the advanced select subsection of the SQL section hacker rank. Here we're given this table here of triangles and each column is the size of one of the sides of the triangle. We have ABC and here's an example on the right hand, left hand side. And we're asked for, to pretty much tell for each row, we have to say what kind of triangle it is. And if it's not a triangle, say it's not your triangle. And here's an example output. So basically, we're going to use a case for the select. So case, according to subconditions, we're going to output isosceles, case according to subconditions, equilateral, scalene, or not a triangle. So we have four conditions here to check and that will determine what appears for each row. And to understand what we should do about these things, we have to understand some mathematics about the triangle inequality theorem. And here's a page from a wolf friend. You, you, can get, you can read about this, but what matters is the sum of the lengths of any two sides of a triangle is greater than the length of the remaining side. So we're gonna keep that in mind as we work with the conditions for our case statement in the select and here's another website, mathwarehouse.com, that has a nice diagram. And we have a triangle with the sides A, B, and C. And this is what the inequality theorem uh, says. So these conditions, three conditions must be met at all times for it to be a triangle. So the sides A plus B has to be greater than the length of C. And the sides B plus C has to be greater than the length of A and the A plus C has to be greater than the length of B. So keep that in mind as we work with our case statement for the select. Okay, and finally, I wanted to show you this diagram uh, for what kind of triangles. So if the triangle has all the sides equal, it's an equilateral. And if one of the sides is not equal, that's isosceles, that is, we have two sides that are equal, but the third one isn't. And if the sides are all different in length, it's a scalene like this one. So keep that in mind, visualize what we're doing in this problem. So let's get back to it. So here I'm gonna use my SQL, okay? So we're gonna select something that I'll write later from triangles table. Now this something we have to output for each row uh, the type of triangle or, or not a triangle. So I'm gonna use a case statement here, okay? Case, and I'm gonna add the end there to start, and then we're gonna add when something, and then, okay? When something, then it's gonna be something. When something, then it's gonna be something. When something, then it's gonna be something, okay? And then finally, I will do an else for what, what, if it, what if it doesn't match in other cases, okay? So these cases will determine if it's a collateral, isosceles, scalene, not a triangle. So I want to start off by right off the bat seeing if it's a triangle or not. So for this case, I'm going to do a then not a triangle. So if this condition in the when matches, what's going to be output for that column value is this, not a triangle. So how can we determine wh when it's not a triangle? When it doesn't obey the inequality theorem, if you remember this thing here. So I'm gonna see if any of the sum of the sides uh, is uh, less, right? If you take a side, if it's equal or less than the other side, because the theorem says it has to be greater. If it's not greater, that means it's not a triangle. So here I'm gonna say, we take the side A, add to the side B, now, if that is less than or equal to side C, that's definitely not a triangle. And we gotta do for the other combination, right? Or A plus C less than or equal to B, or, right, B plus C less than or equal to A. So this is like not a triangle if any of these is true. Now, if this case condition here, if this doesn't match, that means it's a triangle. So it could be either all the sides are equal, equilateral, or only two are equal, isosceles, or all of them are different length, scalene. So let's do the equilateral one. 
then equilateral. What's the condition for equilateral? So we have to have all of the side lengths equal. So A has to be equal to B, and A has to be equal to C, and B has to be equal to C, right? So all of them are equal, all the sides equal equilateral. Now, if this case is not true, it goes to the next case, the when here. So that means it, it's either two sides equal or no side length equal. So in this case, how can we say for the isosceles, isosceles case? The isosceles case, we have to check uh, if one combination of sides is equal. So if A is equal to B or A is equal to C or B is equal to C. Because we already checked before previously and we are sure that it's not equilateral, that's when we can do this. We have we can say for sure that if at least one of them, two sides, are equal, then it's going to be isosceles. Now, finally, for the else case, uh, we're going to just say, okay, we checked everything is not equilateral, not isosceles. It has to be scalene. All of the sides have different length. So that's the else case there. Let's test it out. I'll click run code. And there you go. Let me click submit code. Okay, and as you can see, for each row, it outputs what kind of a triangle it is or not a triangle if it's not a triangle for that combination of column values for the size of the triangle. And this was type of triangle.